What's good, YouTube? Dragonman24 here, welcome you back to the channel for a brand new episode of our Fire Emblem Three Houses Blue Lions Let's Play. We are picking up, uh, kind of at the end of the month here. All we have left to do is a seminar, but before we jump into that, we have, uh, some support conversations, so we will get into this, these support conversations, do the seminar, jump into the battle for the month, and I hope you're excited. Please be sure to smash that like button. I apologize if I look like I have all this energy. And I'm not moving that much. I lost my train of thought for a second there. I'm trying not to move because I found a very comfortable position in my chair. And I'm going to keep it that way because my back is killing me, dude. Alright, anyways, let's go ahead and get through some support conversations. We have Byleth and Yuri to start. Where are you headed this late at night? Ah, uh, it's you. Where I'm going is hardly your business. Do yeah, me you. a favor and mind your own, won't you? You really shouldn't be out so late. <laughs> Ever the professor, aren't you? So, what's your deal? Worried about my well-being? Just a bit. <laughs> That's adorable. I get the sense you're not so hot at assessing people. Just giving you a hard time. Either way, it doesn't matter much to me. There's no slowing me down tonight. I've got important things to attend to right now. Like what? There you go with that nose of yours. It still isn't your business. But it looks like you won't let me leave until I tell you. You get your way this time. There's a dispute. Or maybe treachery is the more fitting word. Regardless, a purge is required. Oh wow, a purge? What sort of treachery? I see I've got to spell it all out for you. One of my goons double-crossed the gang. He absconded with his boss's small fortune, my small fortune, and buddied up with another gang. Members of the gang are recognizable by their scorpion tattoos. Suffice it to say, they're not a group you want to tangle with. Despite that, I'm not about to just roll over and play dead on this. So I figured I'd pay them a little visit, have a spot of tea with their boss. Makes sense, you know? Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> As a former mercenary, I knew you'd get it. You know how things are done in our world. I play my cards wisely. I wouldn't play if there wasn't any hope of winning. I'd like to help you. There you go being adorable again. I don't think that's a good idea, but thanks. Better head off now. I've got people waiting for me just outside of town. See you around. Let me join you. <sighs> what is it you're after? Money? Me? Or are you just looking for someone to kill? I'm just curious. You seem adamant, so I'll allow it. Won't hurt to have backup if things go south. I trust you, for now, but I don't know how reliable you actually are. Just so we're clear, you mess with any of my people, I'll slit your throat without hesitation. Whoa, 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 Yuri! Got okay, that. calm down. Alright, this isn't working out anymore. I thought I had a nice, comfortable position, but I guess that's not the case. Byleth can still speak to who? Happy? Yes. Please, let's speak to Happy. Well, look who it is. How are you, Chatterbox? Gone I love that she calls us Chatterbox. Um, I would say so. That makes sense. I certainly strut around here like someone who belongs. You seem like one of those people who blends in. I could see you just about anywhere and think, oh, that person's here. Makes sense. <laughs> uh, thanks? I wasn't paying you some sort of compliment. To me, it doesn't matter whether or not you believe in the goddess. You're here supporting the church, and that makes you no different from the others. I can't stand that. Sorry about that. Well, no I'm need happy. to apologize. I just have a rocky history with the church is all. They betrayed me, or at any rate, horribly mistreated me. So I'm not a huge fan, but keep that to yourself. You were mistreated? When I was little, a lady locked me up and held me captive for a long time. The Knights of Saros rescued me, 
promised to protect me. But then they hid me away in abyss. So all the knights did was move me from one cage to another. Wouldn't you call that mistreatment? Aww. It was all for the greater good. They didn't want to put anyone important in danger. As for me, happy you are my life was expendable. Important. That guy no, no. Alois was nice to me though. And he told me a bunch of hilarious jokes to cheer me up. Hilarious. Do they not have sarcasm where you come from? Keep up. Anyway, <laughs> that's why I hate the church. Someday you'll hate them too. They only hired you because they needed a warm body to fill the post. When you're of no use to them, they'll get rid of you without a second thought. Why? Why did she say that with such a smile on her face? Sorry, that sounded more menacing than I Oh intended. god, her soft smile is I'm just... I'm just telling you how these people think. It melts my heart. They have rules. I love Happy so Dogma. much. <laughs> they want us all bound to their system so they can control us. I don't do well with that sort of stuff. That's why I ran away from home in the first place. Ran away? Yeah. Ran far, far away. But as far as I ran, it wasn't far enough. I got dragged back into society. Chains and all. The kind of world I want doesn't exist. Anarchy. I don't think that's true. I'm getting too dark for you, aren't I? Forget I said anything. She wants a world of anarchy. Your future seems bright, at least. You can just sit back chaos and enjoy chaos whatever comes sake. your way. She wants I'm everyone saying, to be free. Don't rest your entire future. But she doesn't realize how it's detrimental that would be to a society. As it seems. Anyway, that's all. I'll be going now. I mean, she's a kid. She doesn't need to understand it. Sorry about that. Dimitri and Ingrid. Ooh. Thank you for sparring with me, Your Highness. It seems despite how hard I've worked, I'm still no match for you. No, oh, there's no They're need for such blonde. humility. They belong Thanks together. Thanks to all of your hard work, because that's improving makes sense. rapidly. If you're going to praise me, it should at least be after I've won a match against you. You know, Ingrid, I may be the victor when we cross spears on foot like this. But on horseback, your handling of a lance is far superior. Can't I be allowed to have my own area of expertise? No, I cannot allow that. Wow. It's my duty to get stronger, to fight with all I have in defense of the kingdom and its people. Such high stakes. <laughs> By the way, where did you learn that fierce jab of yours? I'm pretty sure the only other person I've seen perform that move is Glenn. Oh, so you Glenn. recognized it. I already yes, know about most of this much stuff, so Glenn, I like, as much. It hits. I never imagined I would be on the receiving end of one of his techniques again. Glenn and I once studied under the same instructor. I've sparred with him more times than I can count. Ah, uh, yes. He was never short on praise for you. Lord Dimitri is incredible. Such skill. There's no way I'll ever outmatch him. Things of that sort. Well, now, he never said any of that to me. Well, he was Felix's brother. That family's not big on displays of affection. That is true. We spent about as much time arguing as we did training. I can't believe it's been four years since the tragedy of Dusker. Since we lost Glenn along with so many others. So it has. Time moves quickly. Things have changed so much. Despite the sorrow, I intend to become a powerful knight. A knight like yourself. And like Glenn, I will do so for the sake of my homeland, the holy kingdom of Fargus, and for all who have died protecting it. To that end, I hope you will spar with me again in the future, your highness. It would be my pleasure. Why did this After get so all, deep? They're just I value our they're just sparring as much as you do. They were just sparring. You didn't need to get that deep. To do. Who are you talking to? Ash, yes. Good combos, good combos. At this time of year, the fish are fat. Simply grilling them will bring out their best flavor. Steaming them with herbs is delicious, too. Wow, you know a lot about this. I'm learning so much from you to do. Were you a cook at the castle in Ferdiad? No. Did your Negatory. family own an eatery of some kind? No. My sister and I helped with cooking at home. Wow, that's all? I thought I was confident about my skills, but next to you, I feel like an amateur. Hey, could you give me some advice about other kinds of meat, besides fish? Ash. Yes to do? You know... 
Why do you spend time with me? To do his home life. We're friends, right? I just want to get to know you better. Is that so odd? I am from Dusker. Ah, <sighs> this guy. So, look at me. I came from a life of poverty. I was lucky to even be let in here to study with all these high-class people. I think we have a lot in common. Being poor and being from Dusker are two different things. Oh, I, I know. But we can still be friends, can't we? You are a peculiar person. <laughs> so I'm told. Aww. Just be his friend, dude. Jesus, it's not that difficult. Ah, oh, yes, Ash and Annette. Oh, Ash, are you These here two are gonna to end up too? together. I am. It's quiet here. Easier to concentrate. <sighs> it really is. Hey, would you like to study together? We can help each other out if we get stuck. Oh yes, we'll get a lot more done working together. What a good guy. I love Ash so much. I love all these characters. This game is so good. Uh, uh. What's the matter, Ash? This question's got me stumped. A ballista inside a castle is ready to fire at enemies outside. What angle should be used for the shot? Assume the ballista is the same as those in Garrig Mach. Ignore the effects of wind. This is for defensive strategy, isn't it? Why is it so complicated? Don't you just aim and fire? Hmm... It may help to focus on maximizing target accuracy to reduce your miss rate. To start, let's sort out the setup. Let's see... Using these ballista specifications... If the ballista corals follow this trajectory, they'll hit the enemy lines, right? Oh, that makes sense, because the enemy line will be here. That's it! Okay, now try using that same technique and applying it to this other problem. If the walls are this high, and the enemy lines are at that distance... Oh, I think I see! I'm trying to make sense I of this. I knew you'd get it. Wow, I didn't expect math of all things to be useful in a siege. This is tough. Numbers are not my strong suit. But this really is, so? is the sort of thing you have to know if you want to command troops. That's true, but not everyone is good with numbers. That's why we have tacticians do these calculations for us, or prepare them before we go to battle. A century ago, the Empire's mathematicians played a huge role in the Battle of the Wall of Fodlan. I had no idea. Hey, you battle really know what you're Wall doing, Annette. Battle of Fodlan. I don't think that's a you battle that so? has ever been mentioned. In any of the Definitely. previous playthroughs. You've obviously done a lot of studying. I really admire that. I suppose I have. Studying is a necessity if you want the advantage over your enemies. <laughs> but necessity aside, it's nice to hear you say that. Oh, look at her blush! She's so cute. She's not quite my girl Lysithia, but she's cute. Ah, oh, Yuri and Happy. I love these two together. Like, if I'm being completely honest. <sighs> I love them both individually, and together they're just... <sighs> Wait. This is boring. Mind if I sleep? You know, I won't care. Nightwatch or not, it's still just for training purposes. Though, you'd likely get in trouble if someone sees you catching Z's. You wouldn't wake me if someone was here? Fine then, I won't sleep. <laughs> You're a call. Yeah, Happy's gonna be our dancer. I'm almost positive. You're being so quiet, Yuri Bird. Say something. I don't always fill the void with my voice, you know. Sometimes it's pleasant to just enjoy the quiet and stargaze. No thanks. Stargazing is a waste of time. The stars don't even stay put all year. Those jerks. See that one? That star is home to the goddess. Yeah. Watching over us from afar. Hmm. That's called the Blue Sea Star, but it doesn't look blue. At all, really. Wait, no, hang on. Maybe it wasn't that one. But that big one over there, that's it! Isn't it? You don't know the first thing about stars, do you? No one ever taught you? Never, no. Well, the Blue Sea Star is really big. It stands out. Sometimes you can't see it at all. But other times, it's the brightest thing in the sky. 
Interesting. So then, which star was I pointing out just now? You might have to point it out again. Which constellation were you looking at? Let's see, uh... It looks a bit like a cat. No, no, that's not right. Maybe more like a fish? Or a... fishing rod? <laughs> he has no idea what he's talking about. What? I'm serious. See, those stars there are forming a shape that looks very much like a fishing rod. <laughs> okay, sorry. But that looks nothing like a fishing rod. Or a cat. I'm surprised you know so little about stars. I thought you knew everything. Who do you think I am? The goddess herself? There is plenty I don't know. But I'm always aiming to learn more. I'm uncomfortable not knowing things. So, come on then, Happy. Teach me about the stars. That'll be a pain for both of us. As painful as sitting here idling? It's not like you're going to sleep at this point. Clearly you know quite a bit about them. Teach me. Fine, fine. Look up there. To the north. Your other north. Your other See north. See that star? That's called the king's right hand. That was so cute. Happy and Constance. Hey, Loco. How do you do? <laughs> Happy. How can you what not in love the world this girl? Has gotten into you. You want to be jealous? Let's play Loco. Happy. It would be easier to understand you if your mouth was less stuffed. Kindly finish what you are eating and then say your piece. My pleasure. Nothing better than fresh pieces. I wish they would have had like you sure you don't want one, Coco? an art portrait. It's not about just whether I want with a bun or not. Cheek it's stuff. It's about your like atrocious chipmunk. manners. Oh my Walking god, that would have been so cool. Walking around with your arms and jaws stuffed full of unwrapped pastries? There are crumbs all over your lips, your clothes. You've left a trail of them behind you. Unacceptable. Hey, I paid for them. I can eat them however I want. Sure you don't want a bite? If you don't have any, I'm just gonna eat them all. You have to try them fresh out of the oven if you want the full effect. Pretty soon they'll get cold. Oh, I'll explain in noble speak so you understand. <clears throat> they have a crisp, oven browned exterior and a sophisticated spongy sweetness lying. Oh my within. god. Uh not Not interested? That's fine. More for me. I was going to say, not so fast. Spare one for me, but only because you insisted. It would be rude of me to decline an offering made in good faith. One must mind one's manners. You're really dragging this out. Here, I'll make it easy for you. Open up. Wait, don't you... Yep. Not bad, right? I could not, in good conscience, acknowledge this as anything but delicious. Now you have crumbs all over you, too. Your form could use a little work. Next time, stuff the whole thing in your mouth at once. That's the proper way to eat a I gotta say, like this. If you ate this at some stuffy party, cutting it this into sensible bites. This game probably has like the best the DLC be that ruined. I have ever purchased I see your in point. my life. There are more types of dining in this world than I was ready to allow for. Room. You've won me over. Let's eat them while we head to the cathedral and litter the ground with crumbs. A capital idea! Wait, no! And before the, the comments start blowing up at me for that, lost me I said again, across my happy. life, you don't know what games I've played. This is the best in my life. You calm yourself. Comment section. I can feel it. Alright, anyways, that did take up a bit of time, but we're gonna go ahead and teach everyone to use a sword, because why not? Because Byleth is perfect at it. It's all coming to night. I got it. I'm certain I've improved. I'm a quick study. All that study is getting the hang of this. And with that, let's go ahead and jump into the month's mission. Whose birthday is it? It's Mercedes' birthday. We'll give her flowers. Yeah, sure. Professor, I just got word from the knights that the last of the thieves have been cornered. Yes. Just as planned. They're in Xanado, the Red Canyon. 
We certainly can't allow those underhanded thieves to get away. Let's work together and do our best to take them down. It matters not who we're up against. They will not harm His Highness. <laughs> we're just fighting common thieves, right? I don't expect much of a challenge. Aren't you a spoil sport? I'm actually quite excited myself. Who knows? There may even be some cute lady thieves. Oh my god. Sylvain. Hmm. Well, at any rate, a real battle is a great opportunity for us to see how far we've come. True. The mock battle was a success. We'll be fine so long as we stay the course. I hope everything... Uh, so much excitement. Perhaps we are a bit overly excited. But remember that we have the knights on our side. All should be well. Ah, and speaking of the knights, I heard that Gerald is once again one of the knights of Seros. Perhaps we'll have the good fortune of seeing you two fight side by side. Maybe eventually. We've fought together many times. Oh, of course. I apologize for letting my childish whims get the better of me. In all honesty, I'm a bit jealous. My parents are no longer around. Oh. What do you mean? They... they died. Both of them. I'm all that remains of them now. Anyhow, Dimitri. I'm sorry to bore you with such things. I'd say it's nearly time for us to depart, eh, Professor? Isn't Dimitri supposed to be 18? Why is he even in school? Because at 18, he should technically just be crowned king. If there's no one but him. So who's running the kingdom while he's just playing schoolboy? I don't think we have any certifications to do. We do not. So, let's go ahead and jump into the mission. Red Canyon Dominance. The Dog and Cat Gift Recipients. Of course, the Ordelian is number one. That cat comes from my girl Lysithia's house. Better be number one. Red Canyon Dominance. So White Cloud. We are taking children into battle, are we? I am not certain I will be able to sleep soundly after beholding something like that. We're fine. I shall. We're fine. We know how to use divine pulse. It's all. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. We can't well, replenish good. our battalions, which sucks. Come back. Let's check the map. Is anyone sh flat out? Okay. I say let's have. Let's have you in the back. Let's switch you two. All right. Let's go to the inventory. Store this. Can't use it. So it's pointless. Um, looks like we can't bring anyone except our class, which is fine. It's totally fine. I mean, but let's go to the marketplace. Welcome. All right, let's purchase for Sylvain. Let's get him another iron lance. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. And let's get Ingrid and Iron Lance. Is that the one? Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Nice. Come I think that's good. We're gonna go ahead and save and jump into it. The Red Canyon. This is the first time I have ever been here. It's like walking through a ruin. Let's get this battle out of the way, Professor. The thieves must have already been driven back. The knights chased us all the way here? Yes, we did. Chief, let's get out of here. There's no way we can win against them. Shut your dumb mouth! Where oh. would we go at this point? You can't be a thief if you fear death! Pretty sure that's not how being a thief works. According to our information, there is a back road to the west. Let's split up and approach from the west and the front. If we advance cleverly, we attack from both sides and gain the advantage. I'll leave the rest to you, Professor. But before all else, we'll need to cross the bridge. Alright, we're gonna start with my man, 
to be tree. I'm gonna go ahead what and bait some do? things. The dude's gonna come in here and bait some things with his iron axe. I'll go. Let's have Felix come up right Stay behind. My left, right behind you. I'll give it my all. Ash, we're gonna send Ready. up and around. Here goes. I think. I think that's the play. I'm on it. Oh, Here that's right. Go. You have stride. Okay, I'm gonna have to use that. Very smart. I'm gonna have to smartly use that. Cleverly use that. That's the word. I can speak English. The dude dodges. That's what I'm talking about to do. And this man wants to go ahead and shoot. She likes it's not happening. Oh, you landed. You landed them both. Oh, no. Alright, here's what we'll do. Smart play here is to just have to do take this guy out. No need to use any combat arts. He's just going to body him truly. Finally, that's some good experience. Still whole and sound, I hope. Ooh, I do want to let everyone get a kill so we can get all of these conversation bits. Um, well, that bites. Here we go, Felix. I really thought you were going to double Another someone, way. but I guess not. Felix grows to level three. Finished already? I was hoping for more of a challenge. Use caution. Let's have Dimitri come back around here. Uh, no combat arts, we're just gonna hit this guy. I kinda wanna see if Ash can do the do the darn thing, but he can't. So, actually, let's see if... Can you hold back at all, Violet? No. You can't hold back at all, as a matter of fact. Just kill him. <laughs> That is that. And Byleth grows to level six. Another. No or er, no uh, words to be said from you. I'm going to move Sylvain in between the two ladies here, because we're going to gambit on our next turn, I think. Alright, we want to stay out of these guys' range. And as a matter of fact, I should have everyone up. We want to stay out of their range. So, a couple of things we can do here. I'm going to start with Sylvain, because he's all the way in the back, and he's going to stay in the back, I guess. And we're going to stride! He's already level 3, so he's actually, he's actually doing pretty darn good. If anyone's going right into the line of fire, it's probably going to be by left. But let's see if Felix wants to come around here. Do some work to this fool. It's it's enough work to be... To warrant it. And let's just let... Dimitri do some damage here. Some damage. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, that is not good. Really not good. Yes. We'll let Ingrid take ready. someone out. Go to level three. Have I? I can't relax here. We need to prepare for our next battle. I really thought I was using to do there, but Ingrid followed, and I'm not mad about it. Let's actually have Ash come in here and do some chip damage to this guy, for starters, I guess. Shit. We're gonna send Byleth right in to do the work. You leave him on one. Dang it, Ash! We couldn't have done one more. We dodged those, for sure. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, hold on. There's gotta be something I can do here. 
Oh no, if we don't kill him. Who do I think? Well, you can take this guy out. Had to be done. Can Mercedes live one attack? Defense is five on her, five on her. So they'll pretty much be the same. I think it's better to go with you. I should have checked their speeds. Oh well, Annette, Annette got the experience, so I'm not mad about that per se. I did it. See, I'm a great fighter. She's so cute. Oh yeah, she's fine. She eats that up. And then we'll come around here and heal Demetri. Yeah. He's very much hurt. He's actually bleeding out. There are a lot of goons here. I don't know how to feel. Big damage, Annette. No? Okay. Mediocre damage. Let's start with some. Okay, so let's start by killing someone. We're gonna send Ash this way for sure. We want him. We want him doing more damage, first of all. So let's do the most to this guy. And let's have Annette finish him off. She's not gonna finish him off. Oh my god, that bites. Let's Nosferatu. Thank you, Mercedes. It's not over yet. We're on level three. You can... I hope the goddess blesses them to rest in peace. Let's have to do do some big damage. I did not get to see what that guy said, but it probably wasn't important. If I'm being honest. Dimitri. The one shot. Over already. And you'll level up. Okay, finally another person I must leveled up and ready to take a certification. I know they are just I guess we might as well keep the group together. Let's get you out of there. Probably could have used the vulnerary, but oh well. Sucks to be me. Alright, this screams gambit to me. It's our chance to prevail. Yes. Nice. Okay. So now if I send Ash, I can have him attack from here. And not do enough. Jesus. Sylvain's in the back anyway, so let's actually do this. Useful. Ash, how far can you move now? Oh my god. Yeah, Ash, you're gonna get this chest for sure. If I left, you're gonna bait over here. To do, let's have you do some big stuff to this. Uh, this mage. Actually, maybe Ingrid. Maybe Ingrid will do the work. I feel like Ingrid can do the work. It'll be a combination of people. She takes no damage. I didn't even see that. Okay, her resistance is pretty high. That's incredible. Let's finish off this maid. Sufficient. To do grow to level four. I want to try and get a few more people to level five by the end of this, man. We really need to try. We're trying to spread the wealth. We can actually have you go for a Nosferatu here. Nice, Mercedes. I'm feeling like Felix 
will die. So here's what we'll do. We'll attack this guy with wind. The guy in the back. And we'll send Felix in to gain the extra experience and to take out this guy. There we go. Felix is hanging on to dear life right now. Oh lord. And not growing to level 4. Okay, thank you. We dodge and we body him. We don't body him. <gasps> Interesting. I'll let Sylvain get this experience since he was doing the work with his gambit. Thank you, by left. A chance to grow. She's almost level 7. You need to stop soaking up the experience. Like, I swear to god, I'm gonna have to bench you. Let's go ahead and grab this chest. It's just a large bullion. Oh my god. Was that worth it? Probably not. Dimitri, you're level 5. Dudu's the closest, so let's actually let him do this, because then he'll also tank something. Dudu, you missed! Thank Another you, Felix. Grow to level 4. Yeah, no, we're getting Felix to level 5 for Strong? sure. Oh my god. That was actually a heck of a lot. I don't think rallying your magic is going to help us here. I am going to heal to do. My thanks. I guess this is what we're doing. Come at us. Alright, this archer's going after Ingrid. Hey. 18. We don't like that. Oh, and he's got Poison Strike. That's not good. I guess we might as well send everyone in the same direction. I don't see a point in splitting everyone up at this point in the game. Um, I'll do my best. Gambit's only gonna hit one person. What is your Gambit to do? It sounded like I stuttered there. That was funny. Um, okay. You're gonna be left on one. I will take those chances. Dimitri, you're fine. Each new Alright, who needs experience badly? You're not getting anywhere. You're level two, so let's give this kill to you. I had no choice. Annette's gonna grab the kill. Ingrid takes a lot from these archers, so she's gonna gambit this one. It's a 60, I just realized. But you're not done. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're all good. We did get a rusted bow. To do. To do, finish this guy. You're going out of five. Give finish up. this guy for sure. And let's attack with... Let's not do that. How much damage are you doing? 11 times 2. Oh no. She has exactly 11. And you'll put her to exactly 22. Are you... Mm, are you freaking kidding me? What is your... Right, I'm gonna put you right here. I don't think it's gonna help, but we do have divine pulses. Let's just... Let's just... Figure things out, I guess. Maybe put up to 22. Maybe you'll take less damage now that Felix is dead. No, it's exactly 11 times 2. Dodge! Ingrid! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I have seven charges. Oh, you really would have thought. All right, to do. What should I do? You have a 25% chance to hit with that. Here Never mind. Go. You're attacking who now? Oh, Dimitri. You'll kill him no matter what. Can't hey. take much more. Um. Okay. So we're in a pretty bad spot. Let's try this. We did dodge, and we got an Ajudin follow-up. That might actually make the difference. Oh, Dimitri. Dimitri, Dimitri, Dimitri. I'm pretty sure Dimitri's dead. But Mercedes did just grow to level 4, so that's nice. Do not attack Dimitri. Dodge, Dimitri. Dodge twice. Or not at all. Alright. Let's go back this far. And we'll do it like what this. What should I do? Yeah, I'll I think we'll best. have Ingrid come in here and gambit this guy. Our strategy is solid. Yes, okay. Good stuff. Now you do nine times two to her. Why? Can't take much more. Here we go. All right, to do. Dude, this is where you crit. You don't crit. Oh my god, to do. Okay. How is there a way that I can do this? If I do this, then she'll probably be able to survive, right? Let's do this. And then see if by some miracle, I trade the training bow. You don't have the combat art. And somebody's dead. Ingrid's dead for sure. And then there goes Dimitri. Alright. Backing it up. Quite far, actually. Ash moved. So how do we want this? Here goes. We want... What should I do? To do. To do. Can't take much more. Oh my god, you do so much damage. Jesus. Here we go. Alright. I could gambit here and heal a bunch of people. As a matter of fact, that might be the play. I can heal a bunch of people like that. A bunch of people that really need it. So you heal Felix. I'll cut through. Go for it to do. Do some big damage. There you go. Stay vigilant. You will still be taken down if I do this. So let's have wind. And then we'll let Felix go. Yes! Okay. I think we got it this time. Why am I even here? Why are you even here? You're here because you're strong. Let's go, Mary. 
you want to attack her for way I'll do too my much. best. And she's not healed, so let's just move her out of the way. You want to attack to do, that's fine. I'm on it. Probably just because you have a better chance to hit to do. I feel like trying to hit Felix is a long shot move. Nice. And if you decide to switch and attack Dimitri instead, which you don't, yeah, to do to do ate that up. He's fine. Let's actually do this one more time. Let's kill all these people. I think this is the most that I've ever used this gambit ever. And yes, I said ever twice. Uh, that's a lot of archers. So let's deal with this guy first, which we can't do from right here. I'll Ash. Give it my all. And by let's move where Stay you gotta focused. move. Finally, Sylvain can actually get some action. So let's have Dimitri come in here. Finish this guy. Who's next? I would prefer not to do that, but it is what it is, I guess. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Let's do this. Let's get Sylvain to finish this guy. Because we really need some experience. Be gone. Desperately. Okay, that was decent. I had to do it. Don't hate me, please. To do, we can bring you right here. So you can take one of those guys for sure. Oh, Um, why is Dimitri taking both of those? I do not know, but let's find out. 12 and 12. Okay. Okay. You're gonna dodge one. You better not have poison strike. Oh, even with Poison Strike, I think you'll be fine. <gasps> oh no, Dimitri. That's clutch. I don't think Poison Strike will kill you. It doesn't. He had 2 HP. Oh my god. That could not have worked out better. Let's have you do some big damage here. I'm at my limit. I have Dimitri move out. Sylvain, you can finish this guy. I'm actually surprised at how much you're having to use combat arts to even do halfway decent damage. Um, let's have. Let's just go for a regular heal on Ingrid. Ash, start to come up closer. Violet, fine. How much damage could you get off right now? Oh, that's a pretty even exchange. But I don't think it's worth the risk. I'll put you here, though. That's fine. So you're going after the Bane, which he doesn't like very much. He does not appreciate it. Please. I should have used the healing item, but I didn't because I'm a fool of a took. Ready. Let's have Ah. She can attack from here, right? But this guy would does way too much damage to her. Okay. Oh, we can attack from here. We have a short axe. Why do you do so much damage? Why? Whoa. Actually, let's try this. Throw the short axe. It does connect. That's fine. Violet throws to level 7. I think I just big brain this, but I could be totally wrong. I think 
Mercedes should now be able to kill. Oh, I'm putting all my hopes into you, Ash. I'm putting all my hopes on Ash. You can't reach. Can you reach from here? You can't reach. I regret everything. Alright, Mercedes, if you miss, you die. Oh, you die and you die out of the way. Yeah, 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 I get it. You're going to attack to do. It. Not use that. Okay. I'll give it my all. And we're done here. Attack a net. She should be fine. Oh yeah, that's fine. And she goes to level 3. This is going to run a bit long. I apologize for that, guys. I don't know why the spell conversation is taking so long. Sucks to suck, I guess. What should I do? You should body this fool. Had to be done. Nice gains! She can no longer attack from range, that's fun. So let's oh, have no. you defeat him. Oh. Felix, thank you. You're weak. And Felix goes to level 5, thank you. I... Careful, please. Do you have heal yet? You don't. Let's well, rally is. Resistance. All right, we're almost Ready. there. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Here we go. Let's heal Ingrid. <laughs> Best way for Mercedes to gain experience, anyways. So, kind of no reason not to. attacks can I beat? Too many. Let's just have by less bait. We will kill Dimitri. Mercedes grows to level four. And we'll bring the do in the rear. And let's just see Who's gonna try and attack Violet? It's not gonna end well for you, my friend. I'm telling you this right now. Use caution. Who can still? Ooh, Ash hasn't used a gambit before. Okay. It makes me nervous that this guy says he's gonna come and attack us. And we missed. Except that we didn't. Here we go. Use caution. I can't risk that. That was so dumb. Oh, okay. I don't have anyone else that can attack from a range. Feeling woozy. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Might as well. And we miss. Okay. That's fine. I'd rather you miss. I'll give it my all. Let's Stay have Violet use her gambit now. 70. It's time. This time we connect. That's what I like to see. Violet's grown to level 7. Such we're moving pretty slow, not gonna lie. Combat our curve shot, and we'll have Ash finish the job. The fight continues. Ash goes to level three. I'm stuck. If I'd hesitated, that that would have been me. This is very true. So it looks like we're not gonna be able to take on take out 
every unit Careful, on this map please. because either Ready. this guy is going to what should I do? Die by by left hands or yeah? Why would you move? You're it can't be the mercenary from before. So what? Now your pals with the knights? Uh, I'll kill you and your pesky brats. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you did not do as much as I was expecting. I okay, 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 okay. So we're definitely not killing that. Yeah, we're not killing that guy. That's not happening. Fifty. Do I take the risk? I think I take the risk. Why not? Now's our chance. We do connect. Thank you, Happy. Um, you're level five. You're level four. You're level three. You're level four. You do need to kill. He does have a training bow. Which he can take that guy out with. Okay, so we'll let Tadu get that kill. I say we let Let's Mercedes get this one. Level up. Had to be done. Not quite. But we will let Tadu come here and finish this guy. I skipped his text. Okay. I should have never listened to that idiot. What a mistake. There we go to do big gains. That's what we like to see. We have defeated the thieves. We'll follow the knight's instructions for what to do next. So well, one enemy remained. Oh well. But we did make it out unscathed for the most part. To do with the MVP, I love that. I feel that. I remember this being a peaceful place. That did increase our relationship with Sothis, which is interesting. Hmm, I wonder why it is that you recall this place. You must be weak of heart. Each time I speak, it scares you so. You surprised me. Although the battle's at an end, do not feel too at ease. Well, anyhow, I am quite fascinated by this place. As far as I can tell, this is your first time here. Still, it feels familiar. How very odd. I wonder if somehow my memories have... Hmm. Yes, go I on. I must admit I am unsure. Beyond the name and the strange feeling of familiarity, I can't seem to remember anything about this place. And yet, a great depth of emotions tied to that sense of familiarity. Like joy and sorrow, pain and love, and all things in between. If I was somehow here before, I wonder what took place. Professor, we should return to the monastery soon. We're all ready for the journey. It is time to depart. But know that time reveals all things. One day I will remember that which I have lost. Oh, by the way, it seems you've earned my gratitude. The thieves who came here are no more. Why are you grateful? I am not sure myself, yet I am grateful all the same. In any case... You must become accustomed to my voice. If you fall down with shock each time I speak, that just won't do. I agree. Oh, you think you're standing strong? 
<laughs> of course you are. It was a jest. We're finally back. I'll leave the report to Lady Rhea in your hands, Professor. Huh. Edelgard. Oh. Does the Black Eagle House have a mission to see to? Remember, on a real battlefield, one can never tell what's to come. You can never dismiss the possibility of the worst-case scenario. Take care, Edelgard. There's no need to state the obvious, Dimitri. But tell me, why the concern? Yes, why? Perhaps you doubt my abilities? If so, your lack of insight is disappointing. Jeez, That's not what just... I meant. If I've offended you, I hope you'll accept my apology. Don't worry about it. Professor, we must hurry. Everyone's waiting on you. I suppose I should be off too. Try not to let her get to you, Dimitri. I promise you, there's no need for concern. Wow. Hmm. Yo! Puppy love? Oh, he liked that! <laughs> now that's a lark. I had no idea you had a sense of humor, Professor. I'll tell you all about it. I liked Some that he time. liked that. That was incredible. <laughs> Alright. So you Rhea. have safely disposed of those bandits. I pray that their souls find salvation. But why did they target the students to begin with? We must further investigate the true cause of all that took place. Until we know more, I ask that you support the students and relieve them of any unnecessary worry. Of course. Good. I have high expectations for you. By the way, how was your time in Xanado? Legend has it in ancient times, a goddess alighted upon this world in that very canyon. For a goddess from the heavens, Xanado could only have been a temporary haven. A goddess. Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess. A gift to help guide the lost. The goddess Wait, is always weird. watching over Fodlin from her kingdom above. However, in ancient oh, okay. times, the goddess graced this world with her presence and offered salvation to the people here. She is the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. My father never told me. I see. Oh, she didn't like that. During your time here, I pray that you come to devote yourself to the teachings of Seros. Uh, Lady Rhea, I am sorry to interrupt. There is something I must ask about in regard to those bandits. As you wish. We shall continue our discussion when next we meet. A goddess? I have no memory of her. But then, I have no memory at all. Oh, how bothersome. It is as though I know, and yet I don't. You know? Perhaps Xanado was my home back when the goddess walked the land. If so, what does that make me now? A ghost? I don't know. Hmm. No, that cannot be. I am most certainly alive. Of course, we also have the mystery of why I'm here with you. Is it somehow connected? Perhaps some past regret is stopping me from moving on. And now I'm forced to stay with you instead. No, that's not it. I can't believe in such a meaningless existence. I... Uh... <sighs> Woo! Okay. It has been a long one. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you all so much for the support on all of the Fire Emblem series. As I've said before, this is the Blue Lions and the final route in my journey through Fire Emblem Three Houses. I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you guys next time. Goodbye.